Hi, this is Ian Cole bringing you an IEQA tech tip on EPA's IRIS database. So you're staring at lab results from a VOC test you performed and now you're trying to determine if all these concentrations are good or bad. Sure, you could turn to occupational exposure numbers from OSHA, NIOSH, and ACGIH, but what if the people exposed aren't healthy workers? What if elderly people in a nursing home are exposed 24 hours a day? That's a different ballgame. One resource to reference during the risk assessment process is the Integrated Risk Information System, or IRIS, produced by the Environmental Protection Agency. According to their website, the IRIS database contains information for more than 540 chemical substances containing information on human health effects that may result from exposure to various substances in the environment. The IRIS database provides reference concentrations for inhalation exposure. These reference concentrations, abbreviated RFCs, are chemical concentrations that are likely to be without an appreciable risk of deleterious effects during a lifetime, even for sensitive subgroups. RFCs are for chronic, non-cancer health effects, but there are some RFCs for more acute exposures. The IRIS database also produces unit risks for cancer-based health endpoints. The unit risk of a specific chemical basically calculates the number of excess cancer cases with 1 million people exposed continuously to that chemical for a lifetime at an airborne concentration of one microgram per cubic meter. So, next time you're dealing with chronic exposures, sensitive populations, and cancer risks, be sure to reference the EPA's IRIS database. If you'd like to learn more, consider taking the one-hour Exposure Guidelines class in the IAQA University. Visit the IAQA website for more information.